One of the applications that we can talk about in this module is called the marginal productivity of money. In step three of the process that we just outlined, what we're going to do is find a value for lambda. So we'll also find values for x and y. We're going to solve for all three of those variables, but we'll have a value for lambda. The negative of that value lambda, or the opposite of whatever we come up with for lambda, is called the marginal productivity of money. So and that's always going to be equal to the opposite of whatever we come up with for lambda. So if we come up with a negative value for lambda, marginal productivity of money is positive. If we come up with a positive value for lambda, the marginal productivity ends up being negative. And what this gives us is the approximate increase in production for each additional dollar spent on production. So we can multiply the opposite of whatever our value for lambda is by our change in production budget. to find the approximate increase in production. So that is, if our value for lambda is negative 0 0.1084, and we plan to increase our production budget by $100,000, then we could increase production so increasing our budget by $100,000 should increase our production by the opposite of lambda times 100,000, which is going to be 0 0.1084 times 100,000, or 10,840 units. So we know this value for lambda. We know how much more we plan to spend on production. What this is giving us is an estimate for how much our production should actually increase. So spending an extra $100,000 should increase production by almost 1,100 units.